Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to cover some clicks that we can give a camera, a scene camera in UE5 to get a cinematic look on our scenes because the default camera that we get once we drop down a scene camera into our shot looks something like this. Say I'm going to step on my sequencer and then on my viewport in the position where I want my camera and then I'm going to click on this button and this is the basic camera that we get and it's fine, I can push in with the camera and then get close to my character and then get him in focus and all of that good things. But this is where we should start actually playing with some of the values. And today I'll teach you the basic values that we can change here to make something look better. And the very first thing that we got to play with is the current focal length. And the focal length is essentially going to tell the image to be more eyefish like or more 3D, if you will, or more flat which is going to make it look more cinematic. So by default, the focal length of a camera in Unreal Engine 5 is 35 millimeters. That makes it so it's super eye fish, super video game. So let's see what happens. If we go as far as an 85, we'll start getting this. Now with this, obviously we have the second problem, which is the minor focus distance down here, right below the current focal length. It's super far away. So we're going to start pushing it in by lowering that value and getting my character on focus. And you already start seeing how this looks way more cinematic than what we had before. If I were to hit play here, we get this frame where he is very close to the camera and the background is also being brought closer because the higher our focal length is, the closer the background is gonna get. Now the background is super out of focus and that is being controlled by the current aperture. So right now the current aperture is at 2.8. If we were to leave this to, or move this to five, we see how the background starts getting clearer and the opposite happens. If we go to 1.2, we can get a more blurry background. So for example, if we're gonna leave it by default in 2.8, we could go even further with our current focal length and get a 200. And if we get to this shot like this, and we're gonna have to work with the focus distance here, which we can manually work through uh, here in the sequencer, or we could do the better way. We're gonna for the first time, click on our Scene Camera Actor. And here in the Details panel, we have a couple of things that we can play with. First and foremost, if you know about cameras, film back, and then all of these are types of camera lenses that we can start working with, or type of cameras, I should say. And then down here, we do have the camera lenses. So as of right now, what we're doing is we're doing an universal, a universal zoom, and we're just playing with the values ourselves. So we have a minimum focal length and a maximum which is this value here, we're currently in 200. And then we have a minimum f-stop and a maximum f-stop, which is how much we can crunch the current aperture on the lower end and on the higher end. But essentially, we're just playing with these values. And down here in the focus settings, we do have the ability to do out of focus or minor focus. But the important button here is draw debug focus plane. That's going to create this little purple manual uh, plane that we can then play around with by moving it and making sure that our character here is in focus. Now, by holding down control, you get the ability to shift, to move or click, hold on click here on this value and make it move more smoother, slower, essentially. So what I'm trying to do is get the eyes of my character here in focus. And then as soon as we're done, we can turn it off. And we can see that this now looks very cool. We have his ears out of uh, focus actually here because we are doing a very low or a very shallow depth of field. Thus, the current aperture is this low. If we crunch the uh, aperture and put it a little higher, we can see that now the ears are getting more in focus, or we could go even further down and blur all of that out. And we can even see how the edges of his face are now in blur. So this is very interesting. We just played with the current focal length. We just modified the current aperture and the focus. But there's a couple more things that I want to showcase here, mainly the crop settings down here. So as of right now, we have no crop. That means that once we go into full frame, we get this 4-3 look, which is fine. We may want something like this, but if we want to go a bit more cinematic and we can do that by going down here to one of the ways we can do that is by going to the crop. And if we go for 239, we start getting the black bands on the top and the bottom. And now this shot looks way better. We would need to work a bit more on the focus if we wanted to. But this shot now looks more cinematic because we do have the crop on the top and the bottom. That is one way of getting that those black lines on the top and bottom. But there's another option too. And this comes down to preference and the technical need of your shot. We're going to do no crop here. 
Unreal now has squeeze factor on the lenses and we can push the squeeze factor to create some sort of a anamorphic lens look. And we get this kind of stretching. Now this is more like Dune, for example. And that looks way different than the crop we were doing before. So this is pretty much uh, to your choice. But what I wanted to share here is ways of getting a different, more interesting and cinematic look with a camera with just a couple of quick clicks, really, because we only play with a couple of values here. Let's go down and do the cropping again. And let's get rid of the squeeze factor so we get those bands up and down. And if we press F11, we're going to get the full view of the viewport. And to get the buttons down here to show up, we need to go into the perspective here and make sure that the viewport type is switched to cinematic. Otherwise, it'll look like the default viewport, which means that once we go into our cameras and we go F11, we don't have any controls here over the sequencer. But if we switch into cinematic viewport, we're going to need to switch back again on everything. And then F11 here, and we get a full view of our camera and our sequencer. In this case, we probably want to play a bit more with the focus to make sure our character is actually in focus. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's really all I wanted to show you. And you can play more. I went into, into a 200 here, but if we go for an 85, you also get this, this cool looking shot where the character is very close and we get this very sharp focus. Maybe our background needs to be brought in a bit more or something like this. We can play around a lot. You can feel the huge difference this makes with just changing the current focal length. We are already getting such a huge difference in how the shot looks that is making it amazing.